Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 7th Pi Open GL tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to show you guys how you could add a ground if you wanted. So, um, so like I was saying before, one of the ways that we can stop a player from maybe going outside of the bounds that we're creating cubes is by having walls, and one of those things would be maybe a ground. Um, you could really eliminate the idea of walls entirely and just create a single plane on the ground and eventually the plane has an edge and if the player goes over the edge they die and then you can take away the ability to move up and down and then we would put all the cubes on the ground and then you would just avoid the cubes still being 3D but you would just avoid the cubes moving like left or right. So that's what I'm going to show you guys now is how might we do that. So first of all um, if you, uh, we could take this y value change, um, and for now, let's just say uh, it, it's zero, and then we'll just comment out, so under the set vertices function. So now let's go ahead and save and run that, just, just to see where we are, um, so you guys understand what we just did. Okay, so now all of the cubes basically come up right there. Now, we're in theory kind of below these cubes, so that's not <clears throat> uh, ideal. So instead of value change, let's see, because we're at the zero, let's say we put these to, say, uh, a negative one. Um, let's try that. I kind of thought that's where we were anyways. Okay, so now they're like on level with us, right? And so in theory, we could just add a ground and we could be like, okay, we're avoiding these cubes here, okay? So now uh, let's go ahead and hit OK there, and now let's go. Let's let's actually make a ground. So how would we how would we make, you know, this floor? Well, it sounds maybe confusing, but it's really not. So if we think about how did we make the edge of the cube? Well, we specified vertex, 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 and we filled it in, and that was it. That's all you have to do. So we can do the exact same thing for a ground. So for example. Uh, we can come here and we can say uh, ground, um, this isn't totally necessary, but we'll basically copy what we did for surfaces and edges. Uh, let me mute my, uh, there we go. Um, so what we could do is something like ground, um, and in fact, uh, we don't even need ground surfaces actually. We'll do ground uh, vertices and ground vertices will equal a tuple and the tuple will be containing a bunch of tuples and for example we know that our x, what are our x and y? Well we want to have x and y be uh, first of all the ground we want it to be like slightly under so we'll say y value change minus one um, let's make it uh, a zero for now anyway uh, our negative I'll have to test a few things. I'm having trouble, having trouble visualizing this. But anyway, you would have negative 10 to 10 um, on the x, right? The x should be negative 10 to 10. Y should not change at all. And then z would be, you know, really far back. In our case, max distance, basically. So, so what we could do is ground vertices equals, and then we would say uh, negative um, negative 10 negative 0 0.1, just so it's slightly under, I think will work. And then um, we don't want it to just be like really short, so, or, or uh, really short rather. So we want that ground to start at some point. For now, we'll just, we'll have it start at uh, the 20. And then let's just basically take this copy, come down here, paste. Now, now this will be positive 10, right? So these are, um, uh, the starting points and then now really deep we are gonna have again the exact same because this is the ground so uh, that's one two and then we'd have three and four and this would be negative uh, 10 and 10 there and then instead of uh, 20 let's do negative 300 and then negative 300 okay then what we need to do is we'll make a ground function so we'll define ground it'll be empty parameters and then we'll just do a simple gl begin and if you don't recall uh, we use gl quads before to fill in um, 
And then we'll just say X. Um, actually, let's do, no, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna say for uh, vertex in ground underscore vertices. Oh my goodness, I just wanna spell ver misspell vertices as, as much as possible. <laughs> for vertex and ground vertices, what do we wanna do? Uh, let's, we can color it first. So we'll do GL color 3FV. And then in here you put the color tuple. So let's let's color it um, 0, 0 0.5, and then 0 0.5. Okay, and just take note, this is a tuple, right? It's a tuple as the parameter. Next, uh, we'll do GL vertex 3FV, and then the actual vertex, okay? And then, then we're all done, GL end, and that's it. So now we've got ground. And then basically we can just come down uh, to our, our loop here and uh, we'll draw the ground. Let's go ahead and draw the ground first so we don't have the ground being drawn over the cubes in the distance. So we'll do ground and then we draw the cubes. So let's go ahead and, and run that and see what happens. Okay, so we have our ground there. We're on the ground. We see our cubes. Uh, the ground definitely just, this is really messing with me visually here. But the ground definitely, you can see it does have edges to it and stuff. Um, and we ran out of cubes. But, but the ground is a little, uh, I think it was too high. So we could lower uh, the ground a little bit. Um, uh, let's do negative. We'll make this negative 1. Actually, let's make it negative 1.1. Let's do that. Well, let's come down on these though. All right, that's that's better. Um, so now it appears like we have a ground. We do have an edge there, uh, and we can uh, work with this. And so you could use this to make you know the ground, the walls, and obviously we go above and below. But it's just still like a flat plane. So like right now we don't have any rules that stop us from doing anything. But anyway, you can imagine that you you could uh, add some rules there. So. While I don't intend to make this game and have walls or grounds or anything like that, I did want to show like how you could do it. Um, so if you were making like a racing game, you know, you're gonna have a street and you're gonna have the car on the street, and then you would, you know, have it going off into the distance or something. And so that's how you uh, could do that. So, anyways, um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show real quick um, in a video how you could add a ground if you wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not have a ground though. I'm gonna just copy the, or uh, comment this out and then come down here and uh, comment this one out and then finally come out uh, the last one up at the top, wherever it is. I can't even find it. Oh wait, this is what we need to do, yeah. And that should uh, give us back uh, a good starting position um, with random cubes. Right. Okay, so anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, Next video will be continuing on in my idea of having infinite range. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, uh, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.